I've just completed a scan at the Labion sector of Space Quest 2. No sign of presence at this time. Gruff, shluff, gruff, gruff. May I see them set? But I won't feel like settled. You look quickly, careful not to attract any attention. As you can see, they are carrying weapons. You give the Time Pod a long glance. It's not the most attractive vehicle you've ever seen. It resembles an overgrown titanium tennis shoe. A gold-tinted glass shield seals the top. It's probably the most nauseating thing to smell in the whole family of smells. It tastes like nothing you'd ever want to put your tongue on again. It's some sort of monitor, probably used to monitor something or other. It's a button with a strange symbol on it. You vaguely remember these symbols from your fifth grade time theory class with crazy Mrs. Drimple. The readout displays some interesting symbols similar to those on the keypad. You wonder if these might bear some significance. It's a large compartment that's probably full of instruction manuals, code books, time maps, and the like. Too bad it's also locked. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally, nothing much happens. That must not have been a valid code. Try again. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally! This view provides a flashback to a recent adventure. It looks real hot out there. Hot enough for thermo-weave underwear. This is Roger. This is Roger on Ortega. Any questions? <laughs>